for and which ones I'm definitely playing. And once we have an idea of what the schedule looks like, we'll know better how much more I could focus on Baldur's Gate 3 before we get to other new releases. Now, I've already said this up front, and I'm saying it again. All right? I want you to understand this. Once other new big RPGs come out, those will be my focus, and this game is going to go on the back burner. If this game is a 100-plus hour game, there is no way I am beating it before other RPGs come out. Just off the top of my head, okay? We've got Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth, and we've got Final Fantasy VII Rebirth coming out within the first two months of 2024. To me, those are bigger, more important games because they're new, hot games and franchises I've enjoyed. I love Like a Dragon. I loved uh, Yakuza 7. I can't wait to play the new one. And Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, I'm not kidding, I'm actually super hyped for. Reason being, now we know it's a new game. This is not the plotline of Final Fantasy VII. This is its own new plotline with reimagined stuff. It's like a multiverse, basically. And did you see the previews during the Game Awards? There's all new versions of, like, Barrett and Red 13 that are different and new. And I'm looking at it, I'm like, wow, they've completely changed this plot. This is going to be super exciting to see. So those are going to be, like, my focuses next year. You have to understand that. All right? So once those games come out, this game will likely either be dramatically reduced with the amount I play it, or it'll go on hold and come back later in the year. I hope you're okay with that. You know, typically, this time of year, I end up playing a Bethesda game, whether that's a version of Elder Scrolls or Fallout, and then you guys pick which one you want, and then I usually I play that over the first many months of the year. That's essentially what we're doing this year, but with Baldur's Gate 3 instead, okay? So I'm just making that clear, all right? So lots of it now, likely lots of it in early January, but then it's going to basically be dramatically reduced or on hold in January, it'll come back, and I promise you I will finish it. As long as people are enjoying it, showing up to the streams, engaging and supporting, I will continue to play this game. But we have to have all those things happening. It can't just be I'm playing it for me or an audience of 10 people and, you know, no one cares and everyone screams play other games. That's literally what happened with Divinity Original Sin 2. Everyone screamed at me to play it, so I played it. I played it 60 hours, and the last 30 hours no one cared, and I kept trying to persevere, and it didn't work. Okay? Okay. So today, I'm excited for this. I hope that you will stick around for the stream. Let's see how it goes. I told you guys, for the amount of hype this game got, and the amount of people that screamed at me to play it, I'm expecting no less than 1,000 viewers on today's stream. Once we start with gameplay, there better be 1,000 people here. I'm serious. Well, that, that was the most hype I've seen for a game. People yelling and screaming at me. For months, why are you skipping the game of the year? How dare you? I expect a thousand viewers on this stream. We're not going to get that, but I'm expecting it. You understand me? I guess we'll see. Will a thousand people actually show up? How many people do we have right now? Probably 400. 814. Why do we have 814 people on my podcast? I have no idea. But, we, but anyway, we need 200 more. So if you're at one of the 800... Call your friends, call your neighbors, call your family members, tell them something's going on on the internet right now, you gotta check it out. Well, what is it? Never mind that, get to DSP Gaming. And then they'll show up and they'll be like, what the hell is this? Why'd they tell me to show up here? Trick them into watching. No, don't trick them into watching, I'm just kidding. Anyway, um, I hope if you're here to watch me, you'll give it a shot. Let's see what happens, alright? Let's see what happens when I start with the game. Hopefully it's good and it goes well. Now, tonight on my late stream, at 6.45...